Hello everybody and uh, thank you for watching. Um, as some of you might know, um, I like to make my own um, custom basketball cards. I uh, usually do that for uh, players that um, uh, I'm looking to get a signature off and that don't have a, a basketball card or uh, if I don't have uh, a nice looking basketball card myself of that player. Um, I started off um, uh, very simply uh, a couple of months ago this is for AJ Ogilvy uh, an Australian basketball player in our local team Valencia uh, I just used a studio pose uh, picture and um, um, just put his name on in the corner nothing uh, too elaborate um, not even anything on the back side uh, I just printed this out on a glossy paper and stuck it onto a decoy card so that was it same uh, same I did with uh, this card for Kirk Penny, a New Zealand player in um, a Madrid-based um, uh, team. And this was, was actually through the mail. Um, I had two copies, uh, kept one myself and uh, sent the other one off to uh, uh, a New Zealand um, um, native uh, person uh, living in the States who is a fan of his, so um, I'm glad to uh, help him out. This one as well didn't have anything on the back, uh, but it was very nice to uh, um, have a signature uh, on this. It came out very nice. Um, then I started developing it a bit. Uh, for instance, this is for a local team as well. There's a Ukrainian center uh, called Sergey Lyshuk. Um, and the design uh, was already a bit more elaborate. Um, I actually put his name in Cyrillic, as I said, he's uh, from the Ukraine. They have a different uh, way of writing there um, and on the back I now started to get, put some information first of all a studio picture and a review of all the teams that he's played for in the past um, and something similar for Stefan Markovic um, uh, also with a bit more of a elaboration on the on the design just like this uh, uh, Lyshuk one and also with a studio pose on the back and um, his teams, his uh, former teams on the back. Um, now, uh, now that I started to understand uh, how I could make use of, of you know, uh, of designs and how things would look um, uh, when printed and signed, I realized really that um, that it's not necessary to. Um, stick to the uh, conventional dimensions of uh, basketball cards. This is uh, Hank Norell, uh, a Dutch player uh, playing in Spain. You may have seen him in the 2009-2010 uh, uh, Upper Deck Series uh, rookies. Um, this is standard size uh, basketball card and I clearly um, uh, blew up the dimensions a bit on this just to have a, a nicer picture with a big autograph. Uh, this one I uh, stuck onto a bit of cardboard and I stuck uh, my designs on uh, front and back. Back, uh, pretty cool uh, action shot, uh, bird's eye view, and at the bottom is uh, previous teams. And something similar I did for uh, one of the local players, Rodrigo San Miguel. Um, studio pose on, on the front with the logo of the team and his name and his number and his position and on the back um, I started doing his statistics which came out really well and this I'm gonna get signed this weekend after the game uh, here in Valencia now as I said I'm slowly but surely understanding how to you know uh, make these things uh, very attractive and uh, what I did recently was uh, I made a design for um, a Rick Smith's card, uh, the most successful Dutch uh, basketball player um, in NBA history. And this commemorates and celebrates his um, um, game-winning buzzer beater um, in the Eastern Conference uh, Finals. Uh, in 1996, tying the series 2-2 two two against Orlando Magic. And what I did was I sent, uh, this is a booklet, and uh, what I did was I sent the 
inside back cover to uh, Rick Smith's. I found his address after a lot of research and um, I sent this to him, had it signed and once I received that back uh, I assembled the, uh, the booklet. So you know it, this really came out well, looks really good and uh, it's really the centerpiece of my collection right now even though Rick Smith is not my um, uh, main player, the main player I collect. So you know this is a front uh, picture in the inside uh, you get a description of uh, the sequence, the last minute sequence of events of that game then on the inside back uh, it's the same photo as on the front uh, but uh, slightly um, uh, faded so that the, um, the autograph stands out and then on the back it's got his statistics and um, uh, a small uh, picture of his and his small uh, player and uh, personal details and for this I used uh, one of the uh, vintage um, hoops designs I believe uh, 8990 uh, it is and um, it came out really well actually so happens that I sent him two copies of uh, the page to sign so I actually have another one uh, which I still need to assemble and what I'm gonna try and do is um, set up um, an auction uh, selling this to a person that uh, might be interested in this uh, most likely uh, I suppose it's an uh, Indiana native uh, or Pacers fan and the thought is uh, for this uh, for the uh, funds raised with the auction to go to a charitable um, destination but I'll keep you updated on that so that's a, a booklet and when I, when I had done that I realized that you could actually even more um, uh, develop that and what I did uh, what you can see here are five different booklets and they are for the starting five of my local team and what I did for each player um, I made one booklet the five players are represented on each booklet with the uh, the player for this booklet uh, in color and the other ones in black and white so this is the booklet for Rafa Martinez in color and then the next one is Nanda de Colo and continues so on so I'm gonna run you very quickly through that so this is the front it's got the logo in, on the back and then you go to the inside where it has a very small uh, description of the player with a studio pose then there's an action photo with the autograph and on the back it's got his statistics and as I said I did this for the five players so this is Nando de Colo French uh, international player with a description of the player action photo with the autograph and the statistics Victor Claver the local hero uh, description here with the uh, studio photo, uh, action photo with autograph, and his statistics. Once again, Sergi Lishuk, uh, of which I showed you the other card as well, with the action photo and the description and stats. And finally, Nick Kena Medley. Uh, former Terp, Maryland player, description and an autograph that I still need to pick up hopefully this weekend and statistics on the back. So that's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, uh, if you like making uh, custom cards yourself um, that perhaps um, I, uh, I've given you some inspiration on uh, how you can um, make your own and um, if you have any suggestions please let me know and uh, I'd be most interested in uh, you know knowing how you guys uh, make your own cards let me know leave uh, a, uh, a comment uh, below in the video in my uh, YouTube channel and um, perhaps even share uh, your own cards in a video uh, looking forward to seeing that as well thanks anyway for um, uh, watching and um, see you soon bye bye